Avengers Endgame is coming up, and we're all wondering how the Avengers are going to handle the snap. But I'm wondering why Thanos snapped it all. He had a lot of options with those Infinity Stones, and there are a lot of things he could have done to change the economy. Hi, I'm Craig, and welcome to Market Power, where we look at the power of markets and economics to shape our world. Let's talk about the six things Thanos could have done to improve the economy if he had the Infinity Stones. First, the Space Stone could have transformed trade. When economies specialize in trade, they are able to produce more together than they could on their own. The Space Stone provides for instantaneous travel between two locations with no alteration to the people traveling through those realms. So it would have been very easy to transport things using the Space Stone. We could have easily reallocated goods and people to their most efficient use. And think about this back in history when we had steamboats that were able to cross the Atlantic much easier. That's when we created the age of mass migration and we we're able to bring people from low productivity Europe to very high productivity jobs here in the Americas. This is actually a way more efficient strategy than just snapping away half the population. Going across the board and cutting half of the population every single place in the universe is a very inefficient way to reallocate the population. What we should have done is taken people from low productivity areas and teleported them to high productivity areas and therefore increased the pie. Two, with the Mind Stone, they could have developed better artificial intelligence. Of course, artificial intelligence is actually one of the first applications of the Mind Stone that we see see in Avengers Age of Ultron. Tony Stark and Bruce Banner used the Mind Stone to derive a new artificial intelligence algorithm, which of course becomes Ultron, a destructive robot. That's not the kind of thing that we want to create economic growth. What we want is more like what happens with the Vision that actually is able to use the Mind Stone along with, uh, with Jarvis, another artificial intelligence algorithm, and create a good beneficial robot that helps out society. Number three, the reality stone could have increased the standard of living at a lower level of consumption. The reality stone is able to create very intricate, complex depictions of reality at basically no cost. One of the things that we're doing when we consume is trying to just raise the standard of living that we perceive, right? That's one of the reasons why we go to movies is to be entertained and have some sort of escapist experience. Well, with the reality stone, we wouldn't have to waste resources towards creating these things and therefore we could decrease our consumption but still have a higher standard of living. Let's go ahead and pause. I didn't really know what to put for the reality stone and that was the best thing that I could come up with. So if you have a better suggestion go ahead and throw it in the comments below. Fourth, the power stone is almost obvious in what it is. It's creating more power and energy to run our economy. The world Thanos is imagining is actually really similar to the world some climate scientists believe in, right? Where we're actually going to destroy our world because we've been over consuming. It's not that we're running out of resources. It's that we use our resources in a way that actually destroys our future. And the main cause of that is the energy consumption that we have, right? Fossil fuels and putting all of this carbon into the air. We know that the Power Stone is able to create massive amounts of energy with almost no byproduct because of the way everyone was dusted. Vanishing all that mass would have required an enormous amount of energy. Instead of using that energy to destroy half the population, let's use that energy to spur economic growth. Fifth is the Time Stone, which is the envy of all economists because it allows you to perform po counterfactual policy evaluation. Thanos could have said, what can I do to create economic growth or prevent this catastrophe? And then he could have used the Time Stone to evaluate different policies and see exactly where they would have ended up. Economists are always trying to evaluate counterfactuals like this, but they're always imperfect. Thanos is like a crappy politician that has this dream policy that he's gonna go out and implement, and then he didn't even bother to check if it was a good one. He should have used the time zone to figure out if this was even a good policy. Sixth, the Soul Stone, which is really obvious what he should do. Actually, I have no idea because we don't get much of an idea of what's in the Soul Stone. So if you have a good idea of how he could have used the Soul Stone to increase economic activity, go ahead and leave something in the comments below. In fact, if any of these stones you think could have been used differently to increase economic growth, tell me in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on Market Power. Fifth, the Time Stone with... <clears throat> Or Thanos could have just snapped away all the spiders.